the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 31st day of December, being Sunday, and this Sunday is Holy Family Sunday. The family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We are celebrating the Holy Family today. Our readings will be coming from Genesis chapter 15, by 1 to 6, chapter 21, verse 1 to 3. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 105, verse 7a and 8a. A second reading will be coming from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 8, verse 11 to 12, and verse 17 to 19. A gospel message will come from Luke gospel, chapter 2, Verse 22 to 40. The theme of our message today is Holy Family is a family rooted in faith in God. A Holy Family is a family rooted in faith in God. And now why today they begin to show us how the family, using the family of Joseph, Mary, and Jesus as a model. The foundation of the family is rooted in faith in God. And that's why today you can see that faith being manifested in all their actions. That's why when it was time for purification, according to the law of the Lord, if God didn't say they wouldn't do it, they brought their child to Jerusalem in obedience to the word of God. That every male child that opened the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And when you bring this child, you will offer a sacrifice of two turtle doves or two pigeons. Make a sacrifice to offer the child. And Joseph and Mary, in obedience to this commandment of God, took their child to Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, there was a man called Simeon. This man is of age and is equally a priest and a very great devil to God. He yearned and desired to see the consolation of Israel, people of God, who are persecuted all over the world. And the Spirit assured him, the Holy Spirit assured him he will not die until he see the, the Christ Jesus, who will be the consolation of Israel. And that faithful morning, the Spirit inspired him, <clears throat> and he went to the temple. And he was opportune to receive the child Jesus. And when he received the child Jesus in his hand, look at, in obedience to the Lord, they brought the child to the, house, to the temple, presented him to the temple for the glory of God and for good of others. And Simeon took the child in the hand and prayed, Lord, let your servant go in peace. For my eyes have seen the salvation prepared for all the people. Have seen the salvation about being our Lord Jesus Christ. And he going on for to pray. And he told them that this child will bring the rise and fall of many in Israel. He earlier told them that this child will be a light to be revealed to the Gentiles. And it will be the glory of his people Israel. He will be the glory of the people Israel. Imagine when your child is the glory of, the, of your people. Imagine when your son is the revelation light that will be given to other nations who are in darkness. That grace or that marvelous. And now what Joseph and Mary was pondering in their heart, what could this marvelous thing be said about their son be? And Simeon turned to the parents and said, this child will be a sign of contradiction. Will be a sign to be rejected. He will bring the rise and fall of men in Israel. And he look at the mother and say, for you, the soul will pierce your heart so that hidden 
thoughts of men will be revealed. When the mother church is pure, the hidden thoughts of men will be revealed. Especially when where the church is on trial, where the church is testing his faith of the people. You will see people who thought that Christians, they will come out to show the Antichrist. You see people who will think that crazy men and see the heretics. It will pierce the heart of the church, but it will reveal hidden thoughts of many. I have uh, many heresies in the church those days. And we still have many heresies today. And the church is mourning for all of them. We are told again that families are rooted in God. They showed us again another prophetess, Anna. The daughter of Homer from the tribe of Asher. This woman married for seven years from her virginity and lost her husband. And she became a widow. Because she's rooted in God, the family rooted in God, she didn't go about producing more children from other men. Lada, she spent all her life in prayer and fasting and cleaning the temple. Now she's 84 years old. Rooted in God, rooted in the faith in God. And she started telling all the people who want the redemption of Israel about the child. And when the parents have finished doing what they ought to do, according to the law of the Lord, they went back to their Galilee, to their city, Nazareth. And the child is going to grow in faith, in strength, in God. And the spirit of the Lord was upon him. Yes, that's the basis. Do you see the obedience of the mother of Jesus to the teaching of the church? Do you see the obedience in carrying the child to the, the, some, doing the necessary sacrifice? Do you see the pondering the word of God in their hearts? How much you know this family? They showed us again the family of Abraham. Abraham, God told him, I'm your shield, I'm everything for you. Abraham said, God, you have, yes, but you have left me childless. A slave in my house, Eliezer from Damascus is going to be my heir. And God said, he will not be your heir. The son of your own flesh will be your heir. And Abraham believed God and was counted for him as righteousness. Even at her old age. And Sarah equally believed that God's, what God promised will be fulfilled. That's why they, old age, they bear a son who they called Isaac. <clears throat> And celebrated him. And God has fulfilled his promise. A faithful God. So rooted in the word. And now why? The book of Hebrews is telling us about faith in God. Or telling Abraham lived in faith in God. Sarah lived in faith in God. That's why he conceived at a very old age. Telling us the part of faith. Family being rooted in faith. And you can see the consequence of faithlessness in the family today. That was a lot of divorces. Crisis in the family because they're not rooted in the world. Any little temptation can they fall away because they're not rooted in the world. Matthew 7 to 5, if you have rooted yourself in the world, no amount of temptation will overthrow you. But if you're not rooted in the world, anything will come and uproot you. That's why so many families being uprooted today because they're not rooted in the world. The family of Joseph and Mary persevered in face of every persecution and made a lot of sacrifice. Abraham did the same. We have been talking about the family rooted in God. And that's why today the psalmist who understood this so well today say, He the Lord is our God. He remembers his covenant forever. Yes, he is in a covenant with every family. In marriage, there was a covenant between the husband and wife in presence of God. I will be faithful and loyal to each other to the point of death. They will love each other. So when this faith is no more there, the family crumbles. And when there is any temptation, the family crumbles. So families, the holy family, we are celebrated today rooted in faith. And every family is expected to be rooted in faith. That's why we do marriage course, so that you will be rooted in what you are going to undertake. And without God, you are as the head of the family. Who is the head of the family if not him? And without him, you can do nothing. But with him, you will eat abundance of fruit. You can see John 15, verse 5 to 6. 
So you can see today that family, holy family, rooted in the faith of, in God. And to family who is not rooted in God is already in crisis. And the one who rooted in faith already celebrating their children children. May God help us understand this message today through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us and we celebrate the grace of living in faith in our family and that being the bond of unity and love in our family. In the of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 yeah,